Hi, this is Dr. Hayek and this video is about chemical equilibrium. In today's video, I will show you another exercise on solving a chemical equilibrium problem where the equilibrium constant is small. Now, this is going to be the fourth video of the series of five videos on this chapter. So please refer to the corresponding video for the topic of interest. I would recommend that you watch video three on the reaction quotient and application of large K before watching this video. Now, let's consider the following problem where it says that suppose one mole of an OCL is placed in a two liter flask where K is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 5 so as you can see the value of k is small what are the equilibrium concentrations now i'm going to show you all the steps how you can solve this exercise so in step one you will write the balanced equation for the reaction so it's going to be 2NOCl it gives 2NO plus Cl2 and then in step two you list the expression or write the expression of the equilibrium uh, constant so k is equal to the concentration of NO squared multiplied by the concentration of Cl2 divided by the concentration of NOCl squared now of course here the squared uh, concentrations are because the coefficients of the reactions are 2 now k is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 5 in step 3 you list the initial concentrations. Now, of course, we only have the reactant at the beginning. So if we divide the number of mole by the volume, we will find the concentration of NOCl. Now, at the beginning, before any reaction happens, the uh, concentration of NO and Cl2 will be equal to zero. So in step four, we will find the reaction quotient Q. And again, here Q is listed the same way as the equilibrium constant expression uh, using the initial concentrations. Now, since the initial concentrations of NO and Cl2 are zero, Q is going to be equal to zero, which is going to be less than K, and therefore the equilibrium will shift to the right side. In step five, we will use ice table to find the equilibrium concentrations. So therefore, if initially we had only 0 0.50 molar of NOCl, 0 molar of NO, and 0 molar of Cl2, after 2x of NOCl are consumed, we will form 2x of NO and 1x for Cl2. So at equilibrium, we will have 0 0.50 minus 2x for NOCl, 2x for NO, and x for Cl2. Now we can list the equilibrium concentrations in terms of x. Now to find x, in step 6, we can substitute the equilibrium concentrations in their values in the expression of k. Now since k is very small, so the reaction favors the reactant side. So the value of x will be expected to be very small to the point that we can neglect it uh, compared to uh, 0 0.50. So therefore, we can rearrange this expression to be equal to 4x cubic divided by 0 0.50 squared and this will make it easy on us to find x so x is found to be 0 0.010 molar now to verify our assumption if it's correct or not we will divide x by the initial concentration of NOCl and if we find it less than 5% this means that our approximation is valid so in this case it's 4.0% so now using the value of x, we can find the equilibrium concentrations of NOCl, NO, and Cl2. So the concentration of NOCl will remain unchanged, so 0 0.50. The concentration of NO is going to be equal to 0 0.020, since it's equal to 2x. And the concentration of Cl2 is going to be equal to 0 0.010. Now at the end, we can do a reality check, just to make sure that Using these concentrations, we will get the same value of K, and therefore we can see that we get 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 5, which is equal to K. So our calculations are correct. I hope this video is helpful to you. So please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.